Good morning, everybody. Morning. Welcome back to the channel. Right? Yeah. Only us again, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's not good news. <laughs> There's a surprise. <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to start with a moan. No, I'm not. I'm not going to go on and on and on about it, but we've got a bloody trailer behind us. And it wasn't one of the trailers that was going to be sent over. It's a bag of old rubbish. What does Ned say? Dung heap. It's a right dung heap, as Ned Kelly Island would say. And it is a dung heap, an absolute dung heap. We should have come in this morning and started heading straight down to Dover. But we're not. We're in Portsmouth because it's got a light needs repairing and it is now half past nine. <laughs> so we're now two hours behind and we've got a delivery in Monaco Thursday. So that's going to be late. First. 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 And then we've got to then go up to Lake Como. There's an event up there. We've got to stay the next weekend. So um, not at all good. Oh. A few things have happened in the last few days that's not really made me happy. Well, you knew the trailer wasn't going to make me happy, but there's just things that have gone on. I'm not well, going it's to... the wrong trailer, really, yeah. isn't it? It's the wrong trailer, because it's a trailer. <laughs> it's the wrong trailer. <laughs> it's the wrong trailer. It's not the decent trailer, is it? It's an absolute rubbish. bag of rubbish, and it's... I'd say it's over 10 years old, and it's just not on. Anyway. And we're very long now. We are over 60 foot long now, so parking up late at night isn't going to be fun, because we're longer than a, than a regular Arctic. And that's about it. So um, we will catch up with you a bit later down the road, I think. I don't know how long this is going to be, but so it's nearly 20 to 10 now. So we're way behind it. We're all finally on the move, and it is now 11 o'clock. Rubbish, isn't it? That's three and a half hours behind now. So we should be in Dover all being well, uh, about two o'clock, and then um, that'll be it, we'll go and get a couple of things to drink to take with us down at Purdue and then just go to see how far we can go, and then that's it, it's just, um, to get into somewhere to park. well that's it, we got all this bloody lot, 60 odd foot now, look, and it's just a pain in the backside, anyway my light's working, Hooray. that's good, <laughs> glad about that, yeah, oh, and on a good note as well, I've just been talking to the fitters down at where we got the truck fixed. He said, oh, where are you going? So I told him I was going to Monaco. Oh, you're going to what, stay there and watch the Grand Prix? I said, what? Bloody Grand Prix's on this weekend and all, so I've got it all, and not Right, we've just passed Clackett Lane and we've got to be in the two outside lanes. It doesn't apply to these in lane two, look. They just carry on up the red X and then shove in so it makes everything else jam up. Um, well, it was one lane closed and now we've got two shut, so I don't know what's going on here. Yeah, you just shove in, mate. You're more important. Is it no driver? Yeah. It's a lot of people getting done with this red lane malarkey lately, isn't it? Mm. Social media and everything. This sea lane now is going in the bloody lane one beside us. Unless he's making a point of stopping everybody coming up. Yeah, but how many people would you let in? That's the thing, isn't it? Warning. Gatso, check speed. 
Now I think he's making a point of stopping all these car idiots. Yeah, because cars are more important on the roads, aren't they? Yeah, because um, you, know, you know what it's like. The bloke going up there with a bloody low loader. Look, lane one. Yeah, I mean, you let in, that's the thing, look, isn't it? Who? Yeah, but they're all shoving up the bloody lanes. I bet this is a truck and a car. I bet it's a... Yeah, here we go, look. Somebody's been spun. Hanging around in the blind spot, they never learn. Here we go. Foreigner. How many times do you see that, look? Don't hang around in the blind spot. There you go. Prime example. That's why I was facing the wrong direction. Yes. So there we go. Professional, surrounded by idiots, aren't we? <laughs> Aye? It's 10 to 2 and we've arrived at Dover. It wasn't a bad run down, was it? No, it was okay. Pretty good. Apart from that bit of a bump that that uh, person had in that, I think it was used to be a golf, wasn't it? I think it was. So the moral of the story is, it could have been the truck driver's fault, but you've got to look after your own safety. Always, if there's, there's four lanes there, give yourself a lane between you and the truck or hang back and then boot it and get by it never sit beside hang a truck there. yeah <laughs> never sit in that blind spot there because you're just asking for it and she got it didn't she she got spun yeah she's not going to clean that out with, with tea cut is she not that she's ever used tea cut I shouldn't think by the look of her anyway what well she didn't look like a tea cut type of person did she can you tell? Well, just looking at her. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Oh, that was painless. 14.45, so... That was painless, wasn't it? Blimey. It's only 45 minutes, so... Yeah, that's alright. It gives time to go over to the cars in all that, look. Yeah. Um, what number was it? 168. 168. How many times have we done this? Once, you've done it once, no. Just carry on. Carry, carry on. on, just carry on. Hmm. What's going on here then? Who should? 168. Looks like we were in that services that time, wasn't it? And all them bloody fridges was coming in. And one of them coming, said, just carry on. That's what the J means, isn't it? Just. Where's he going now? I don't think he knows where he's going, does he? Left hand line. It's not very busy in here, does it? It's really quick. Bloody smashing, wasn't it? You don't mind it when it's like this. It's just sort of a general flow, yeah. no bung up. No. We normally come down to this section, don't we? One six eight. I'm not put in with the big boys this time because we're big. We're sixty one foot long, you know. Six eight. Yeah, lucky. Six eight. Yeah. Oh, 
Oh, the look at that. Top. Pole position. <laughs> <At> the top. <laughs> we'll have some of that, thank you very much. <laughs> and look, we're so close to the thingy. Yeah, blooming smashing. Look at that, look. God. We'll have some of that. No. Not that we mind walking. No. Brilliant. Quick, eh? Bit we, rushed. Bit rushed, <laughs> yeah. We've been here 17 minutes now. And we've been in the user Kazi, and it's because it's run by Moto, I've got a mill voucher that is gonna run out while we're, we're not gonna be back early enough to use it when I get back. So we've been in there to Costa and got a little latte and a cake. And while we're waiting, when we're walking up to the place, there was nobody in there. Mm. Then all of a sudden, there's people appeared. There's one poor bloke on his own doing the stuff, and up we get the call that we're boarding. So or you may automatically panic, don't you? But we're obviously not boarding yet because we're just sitting waiting. But you don't want to be in there getting coffee, and everybody wants you out of the way. No, but you get the call. Mm. But we asked for extra hot, and it's barely warm, is it? Well good, so we're um, quarter past two and we'll be boarding very shortly. You didn't actually tell me to board. Oh, you just said you're right. Hey? No, I looked across and put my thumb up and he said, yeah, follow. It ain't good, no, because you've got to take such a long sweep out. It makes you look like an idiot. Crossing really, wasn't it? Yeah, it was okay. Even the yeah. normals lounge was pretty quiet, wasn't it? It was all quiet. Yeah, hardly anybody on it really. Pretty really good. Yeah. Yeah, so what we are now, it's ten past five local time. Um, nip round Purdue and get our alcohol for the trip. Jack the back up. Jack my back up. Jack it up. Probably you got a, if you stick it right up in the air now, you got the back of the trailer going down, you got all that lot That's of bloody worry about, yeah. all that stupidity. I don't care if the trailer grounds out anyway. Look at the state of this. That's okay. Yeah. on board. Oh. You always seem to come out of this dock lately, don't you? You reckon? Yeah. It's very familiar. Very. Well, it's afternoon now, isn't it? It's yeah, every time we... The last three times, including this time, we've come out through this dock. 
Right, just nipping the wine shop and get our provisions for the trip. Yeah, you just stand right in the middle of the road there, mate. With his worn down shoes, heels. <laughs> what do they call them? Sliders. Sliders. Well, they're not sliders. They're, they must be so uncomfortable to walk on the bent down hills. There's a McCardles out there, look. There's, there's so many of them McCardles about, aren't there? Get in here, what a stupid great bloody 60 odd length. Uh, oh, look at this. Oh, we're getting here then. Thank you very much. It's very shiny. Get round here. Yeah, some good neck, isn't it? Be better, could it? Nice swing out here when we leave. Oh, I'm smashing. Right, that's that done. Let Mr. Smack come in. When you're ready, mate. In your own time. So I've bought a three litre of white, a three litre of red, a three litre of rose. Not that we're going to drink it all. Just in case, you know, we got a bit of variety, haven't we? And um, a case of stubby bottles of beer. That's about 27 euros. That's all right, isn't it? That's a job. Put four in the fridge for later on, isn't it, for Ron? We've got to go back out of here, onto the A16, so we're back towards Calais, and then the next junction off down the A26. And then we'll, um, we'll do about three hours or an hour, just see how I feel. See what the parking's like, because we've got this stupid great long thing now that's going to be a bloody job to get in anywhere, isn't it? Still hasn't dropped off. Oh, bloody rubbish. Anyway. Yeah, so that's that. Right, um, yeah, I don't know how far we're going to get tonight. But it gets within striking distance decent enough for Thursday morning, isn't it? And then from Monaco up to Lake Como, I think it's about a six hour drive, so it's not the end of the world, I suppose. Is it? It's a lovely afternoon. It's beautiful, isn't it? 21 degrees it's showing on the dash. That's it, we're done. Where are we near? We're near Reem. Oh, look at that. <laughs> there we go, the bloody shouting lot. They got, they're got they sitting talking to each other. Well, they're not, they're, they're not shouting to each other. Why do foreigners have to bloody well shout all the time? Two bloody Lithuanians. Are they in the same truck? Mm-mm. -hmm. No. There's two car transporters here. They're not, they're standing outside with their bloody sliders on and scoffing food, aren't they? I did hear them when shout, I got out, yeah. Shouting at each other. Anyway, we've parked, it is very tight with this truck. It's north of Reem. North of Reem. We've done, uh, like I said, just over three hours drive. Um, but it is tight to get parked up with this stupid 60 odd foot bloody length. Plus I parked in one over from a fridge and I got out to check if I was hanging over the baton and saw another one two over so I had to reverse space, out not another space yeah sorry so that was awkward because it was a blind it wasn't a blind side reverse because um but it was just blind because I had to have you out to check yeah. no one's flying down there and obviously backing out the trailer tries to come round on you and it's not good because the sun's in me eyes look you can see it all all here look so I've got the blind down so um yeah but out your bum. Up yours. Cheers, Cheers. everybody. <laughs> mm. So that's that. We're going to, um, I'm just going to book off and um, we'll find something. We're going to have salad tonight, aren't we? Mm. And stuff. All right. Well, so, we've got a fridge full, so we've got a little yeah. choice. Right then, so um, we'll see in a little bit. We'll get sorted out and we'll be back. Be back in a bit. Hey. Yep. Sort of. Yep. <laughs> Perhaps the sun won't look so rubbish on me. Oh. It'd be dark enough to get your coat up. Though. Oh, all that bloody useless bleeding lighting. That's another thing with this truck. 
well, it's not another thing. That is one thing with this truck. The lighting in it is awful, isn't it? Mm, two things beginning with L that you don't like about this truck. Lighting. Oh, he can't get out now, that bloke. Look, this bloke. I just said that. See that bloke's pulled down there, look. That's Obviously tough. to have a break, thinking everybody's parked up. Now this guy can't get out. Because he was having a break. Because he was just having a break. So he can't get out, look. So he's going to have to blow his horn. And, um, yeah. look. You know, poor bloke's got to have a break, but he should park where he shouldn't block people in, should he? He could have parked behind us. Yeah. Our road. Easy. And then people can get out, can't they? Yeah. Oh. You shouldn't just assume people have parked up for the night. He's walking down there. If you wonder what that <laughs> is, it's a new air freshener we got squirt, and it's not me. Um, is he going to move? It smells a lot better than you. Mm. Yeah, so he's now, because he's parked there, look, if he's having a break, he's got to interrupt it. Um, yeah, so there we go. I'm having a yeah. problem at yeah. Oh, what's he run? Look at his guy run. <laughs> oh, I bet he's saying, I'm on a break, mate. I'm on a break. This, that's unacceptable. If he's had his break, he's, he's, well, having, he's, he's having a go at him now, look, isn't he? If he's thinking about parking there, he should have said to the blokes, well, he just, are you uh, going to be here? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Huh. I don't think they were arguing, I think it's just that French thing. Um, where's he going now? What's he letting him have 15 minutes? And That's generous of him, isn't it? He's actually going to let him sit there. Anyway. Anyway, dinner is served. Mm. Quiche salad. Looks nice. I would have liked some potatoes with it. We didn't bring a tin of potatoes. It would have been nice with some board spuds. Yeah, we were talking about that, but yeah. we didn't actually know. That's a shame. Anyway, as you can hear, our neighbours are still shouting at each other, making that noise. Um, we've got another one. All right, bum. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. Mm. So, um. Pretty healthy, though, that. Yeah, that's all right. Isn't it? That'll do, look. That's all right. For a Stephen and Trap meal. And it's late because it's um, French and it's quarter to ten in French land, isn't it? Yeah. So, there we go. Um, Lost an hour. Yeah, we always do, don't we? So, that's about it, really, isn't it? So, the first vlog of the series, getting going, is normally a bit all over the place. Yes. There ain't really a lot to vlog, really, is there? No, and it's yeah. sort of stressing about what might happen, and oh, yeah. then it doesn't. Oh, yeah, but I've had a lot of issues with this bloody trailer stuff. Oh. I'm not going to go into it, like I said earlier, but I expect you'll hear about it over the next few days. Um, it's been really stressing me out, isn't it? And I can't secure the doors properly on the trailer. Although um, I've got my padlock on the the the, 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 the key locks don't work on it, so I've had to put my padlocks on it. But the when you shut it up, there's sort of hooks that hook into the frame of the body top and bottom but what happens with old trailers when you put your handle in there's a well not with old trailers they're supposed to work there's a rod that runs up to the top claw which locks in the top and they always snap off inside the door and it has so you could get hold of the door theoretically and pull the door open so any of these herbits that want to go to the UK and they're likely to take any opportunity could just rip that door they sit flapping at the top yeah, like it is yeah that's it it they wouldn't could... take much no. i mean even a stick could get it yeah well i've got my fingers in and I'm, i wasn't going to force it because no. it might break the bottom one but it's just pathetic and you're driving along and that thing's flapping like that and you've only got one thing at the bottom holding it well, that's good. when it goes back, I, well, I didn't know that door was like that, so I wouldn't have brought it, because it's not secure. We're going to be wide open, and we're going back. Well, not wide open, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyway. Mm. Anyway, our dinner's getting warm. We're going to love you and leave you now, and we're going to chill out a little bit, because it's um, been a long day, isn't it? Mm. Well, they're old up this morning and everything. And, yeah, but um, we didn't do too badly. No, we've done quite well. So nice we've got, and quick across. Yeah, that would have been top the lot, wouldn't it, really? So we've, we've done our three hours down from Calais. 
which I wanted to do. Yeah. And we kick off about half past seven ish tomorrow, UK time, and see how far we get. And it's always hard to park in the south of France because it's all in the what mountains? The Pyrenees. It's the Pyrenees, it's the Maritime Alps. Well, it's not the Pyrenees, it's oh, the Maritime Alps. That's it. See, she knows more than what the I do. The Pyrenees are. Oh, stop shouting for God's sake. Spain and France. Yeah. Yeah, um, so the Pyrenees is so very. The not mountains there and the road, and then there's a the sea, so there's not a lot of. Flat. Oh, shut up! There's not a lot of places, not a lot of areas to build no, truck parking. Not enough. Hang on, hang on. Oh, we're going to have to shut this lot up, look, because they're just shouting across their bloody trailers now. They've got. They're two transporter drivers, so they can shout through the cars. Bloody shouting! Shut up! Anyway, I'm going to eat my dinner, isn't it? What do you mean, isn't you can, it? You can still hear it. And they, that. <laughs> they better not bloody well get up in the morning shouting their gobs out. Oh, he, he's got his grey suit on, look. His track, his, grey baggies. his jogging bottoms. I bet he doesn't jog anywhere. <laughs> he don't look, look like it by his gut. Anyway. That's enough. That's enough of that. I'm going. I've had enough. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for all that following us around. And all. Well, you ain't followed us anywhere yet, except from Southampton. Not so, and Portsmouth. Down to Dover. Across down to here. So that's it. Right, we'll see you later, guys. Thumbs up, subscribe, and all that old malarkey. And we'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, yeah. we'll have a better vlog tomorrow, won't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, the weather's nice. It's, it's nice lovely. Countryside. It's yeah. the beginning of. Yeah. It's, well, almost the beginning of summer, isn't it? And it's, yeah, it um, should be. It's nice. We always do this. We always say goodbye about 400 times. and then, then so, Right, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Bye, guys. <laughs> <laughs>